Today we are going to have a look at the Daytona twin, twin Daytona machines that I picked up a little while ago, if you uh, recall that episode. Um, picked up a couple of uh, Daytonas that were in a pretty sorry state. But anyway, let's head out now to the machines themselves and let's have a look at the state that they're in. Okay, here we have the two machines and uh, we picked them up with the seats off uh, anyway so made a little bit lighter they are actually pretty heavy on their own this one i've left as it was all connected up however the other one i've actually dismantled it started doing some cleaning on it and interestingly when you break it down with the wiring you've got the uh speakers which uh, go around the back of the headrest and uh, and here's that light fitting so this is the unique uh, aspect of this particular Daytona setup with these particular seats they have this backing piece which goes on the back and if we hold this up in the Sun you can see uh, that yeah that will actually light up once we get uh, a new tube around the back and I'm going to probably just replace that with a, a 12 volt but how cool is that? Um, that is something unique to this particular version this machine on the right um, doesn't have its main board in there I'll just lift this up it was fully complete it was fully complete uh, except for the main board, you will see that the uh, sound board and the mixer board, which I'll show you on the other one, is also out of this machine at the moment. I'll explain why. But anyway, that one there did not have the main CPU stack. And so if we look at, uh, look at this one. It does. So let's just look around here in relation to the board sets and some things that I know already and still learning obviously about this machine but this back one is like an input output general board we've got the cpu stack here so this got the cpu board on the bottom here and then we've got the uh rom board on top and then the video board actually the, it's the video board underneath i think the video board's underneath and that's the comms board you might need to correct me there guys but there is a uh, stack of four um, that's the main suite then if we come under here lift this panel off we have a switching power supply um, we've got some sort of distribution board here um, that one there obviously the back plane board for the board set then coming around here on this side we have got Around the back of the power supply here we've got the uh, soundboard which is actually a model one soundboard but they use it this is a model two setup in terms of the daytona hardware but they use a model one soundboard which is quite good because they can be found um, relatively easily and uh, then we've got a mixing board you can see all the rcas coming in and out of there because that one there then controls the sound to go out to all the different speaker sets because there's speakers here up the side and then of course on the back of the seats and then there's one actually under under the seat itself um, we can't see that there a little bit of a box and that's the sub sits under the seat to give it a little bit more vibration so yeah so that's a mixing mixing board so we've got the main sound board we've got the mixing board over the back we actually have the sound amplifier there's effectively three boards really related to the sound and then here we've got the uh, force feedback driver board and that controls the force feedback on the steering wheel and then right at the back we've got the transformer um, and another power transformer here and then um, sorry there Another power transformer there and then uh, the main on or off switch and the fuse so you can see guys that this is actually you know it's a pretty complicated setup um, and it's not surprising that a lot of people don't have these games working 
because of the amount of boards. So if we look at the boards, I mean, board count, we've got one, uh, under here, two, hang on, two, three, four, five boards there. We've got six, seven, eight, and then nine for the sound amp. Um, and if you counted that little uh, distribution board in the middle, we've effectively got 10, 10 PCBs in here, guys. Now, there's not a lot of games that have that many. So very, very complicated setup. Lots of wiring in here. You did watch my previous episode. I was concerned that I had a number of cables that weren't plugged in, and that's because, of course, those ones go up through the seat, up through the hole here where the seat would be and that uh, then powers the lights on the back of the seat and also for the uh, the speakers of course. Let's turn it on and I'll show you what we're getting. Okay, turn it on and we have noise and we have <laughs> yes guys we have a working Daytona can you believe that <laughs> I can't believe it now guys I did test this you know a, a little while ago um, for the first time and I didn't record it because simply I just thought this is just not going to work but look at this it's fully working no graphical issues um, clearly the monitor itself, and I'm sorry because it's out in the daytime at the moment guys, we're going to get a bit of reflection here, but the monitor itself, the chassis needs doing, the top up here has all got lines up there, and it's not very good. Other than that though, especially at night, this really, really glows, beautiful screen. Otherwise, once that chassis is repaired, it'll be sweet. And uh, we can see everything else is working in terms of the logic of the start button going. And, uh, yeah, I just, I, I, I can't believe it. I really can't. So, is it all good news? Well, no, there is a couple of things that do need attention. One, of course, is the soundboard. And that's not surprising given the fact that, that, um, let me get in here, it's in light. That little, um, Cap is only just sitting on there, but you can see see these lights at the back here, these red, green, red, uh, green. Those they're supposed to alternate with the sound and the music, and they're just locked on. So I mean, it is getting power and it's going through, but clearly, probably I don't know if it's just that cap. I mean, the board was pretty rusty anyway, so that's definitely not working. Now we have another set of LEDs here, and it's going to be difficult, guys, because of the sun. Oh, you can see that. See, see it changed to green there. So this logic in here is flowing through as the game changes its state on the screen. And um, there you go, and it's flicking around. So you sort of know that it's got some logic happening, whereas the sound at the back there is just locked. And, uh, and I'm not getting any sound. So, which brings me to um, when I did try to do some initial troubleshooting on this. I pulled the sound out of this uh, this one, uh, both boards, the back here, and I tried the soundboard, the Model 1 soundboard first, and uh, stuck it in here to uh, replace that one. Uh, turned it on guys and proceeded to get a little small fire of smoke. <laughs> come rising up through the middle of it so I quickly powered off so my other soundboard main soundboard is dead um, I had actually changed out the uh, the mixer board for, with the other one but that doesn't make any difference because it's really not passing this one so guys I actually have apparently I say apparently because you can never really trust these things but on eBay there was a, a three working soundboards and I picked up all three um, for a really good price for all three so I'm hoping that at least one of those will work and uh, at least if I can see some logic going on here then that will help me if um, if I'm still having sound issues because it still could be the mixer board 
um, and at least I could try my other one I guess and it still could be the amp at the back there um, and again I've got that amp from the other other machine too so I could try that other than that guys the only other thing that we have wrong here is the force feedback is not working correctly now the steering the controls the shifter um, everything else works perfectly but the force feedback doesn't so guys currently set to free play if I start it up here so get this on here get this down haven't got a seat in fact let me just get a seat and guys just when I went to look for something to sit on because I haven't got a seat here to uh, to show it driving we have a full picture collapse so let me just reset and we'll see if the monitor comes back to life this is a chassis problem though <laughs> how about that been working all the way up until now yeah, the red green blue dots but the chassis definitely need to be fixed so that's the other thing I'm going to do is take the two chassis out guys we'll see if it uh, if it resets <clears throat> yeah it's struggling it's looking like it wants to collapse oh well, it looks like I won't be showing you much more of uh, <laughs> of the gameplay because there's going to be no picture <laughs> okay fully collapsed again all right let's just turn it off for a bit yeah guys I don't think it's going to uh, recover now <laughs> oh, what a shame right so we couldn't get the picture back so at least guys you got to see it at least working you can see that it was working and uh and it is actually really funny because i have had it on a few times even had a long fairly long durations but clearly that monitor chassis was on its way out as i said the uh needed doing anyway the top of it was uh we had a lot of lines there it didn't look right so that's fine the plan is is i'm going to take out that chassis I'm going to take out the chassis for the other one and get them off to J-Mac and get them both uh, go both repaired. The uh, the one on the right, the tube is broken, so that tube has to come out of there. But I'll get the chassis fixed anyway, and then we'll have a really really nice monitor. And next time I show this to you guys, I'll show it at night with that new chassis in. It just looks superb. And hopefully by then I'll also get the uh, the sound. Now I wanted to show a few more things in relation to the test setup and we'll have to leave that for another day now um, but you can throw it into tests and then go through all the settings and uh, I wanted to show you a few things about the force feedback so the force feedback in here as I understand it it has like a clutch and a, um, a force feedback motor and the, the actual um, steering and everything uh, works fine um, there's no problem with that I'm just not getting any um, any rumbling um, and it, it seems like I can actually force either the clutch on I think in the settings and it seems to work I'm, I'm not sure guys I need to research that some more but I will say that inside here there is a board that controls the force feedback which I pointed out before which is this back one and on that board uh, there is an LED so what I'll do is I'll just turn it back on regardless of the monitor situation here it's flashing error three now that normally shows the status of one of the pots there's two pots associated to the steering uh, I believe one for the steering itself and the other for the force feedback I believe I don't know which one's which but in the settings you can see the other setting this should be reading 80 or around about that um, uh, that range and if the game fires up and it's not 80 or it's got an error like this and the force feedback will be disabled anyway so I do have a problem here I could swap this board over with the other one that's something I, I will do if I do turn the wheel or even start a game 
to the start of the game. I'm pretty sure I've actually uh, got it so that that clears, but it looks like it's not going to clear now. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. So maybe I have more problems than I think. But uh, yeah, I can't go into the settings now to uh, to show you all those and check it further. But we will certainly do that uh, do that next time. So there you go. <laughs> that was uh, that was actually pretty funny. The fact that I had that going for quite a, a few days and then it just finally finally went. But I'm glad you you did you guys did actually get to see it. You can see that it is a working unit, um, even with the error on that um, the force feedback board on the on the BD drive board. It is all working in terms of uh, steering and so forth. So. I really just need to get that fixed, obviously, with the sound and uh, change over the, the monitor chassis or get the, sorry, get the monitor chassis fixed up. Okay. Please subscribe and uh, look after yourself and fix your own games. And you are playing your games, you know, I do ask this from time to time, but make sure, guys, you do play them. Just take the time out to play it. Project, two, um, Project Cars 2 just got released the other day. I've been playing that in the uh, Taito Grand Champion cab, having lots of fun with that. Um, so definitely play your games and enjoy them and uh, look after yourself and others and until next time ciao